Well, hello everybody, and welcome to my Final Fantasy VIII playthrough. This will be my first series I ever upload on Final uh, on YouTube, so hopefully, hopefully it all works out pretty good. Uh, we're going to be doing a no leveling uh, playthrough, so I'm going to try my best to cover everything. Uh, we are playing on the Xbox version, so I won't be using the battle boost, which is like the the ultimate limit break and stuff like that. Uh, I will probably be using the times three just to help speed things up, which no, not probably. I'll most likely be using the uh, speed three times three to be able to move around quicker, better to draw, things like that. Um, as far as the no random battle encounter, um, I don't think I will use that as much just so for the ones who don't have it or doesn't like to use it you can still kind of get the same feel and gameplay that you're watching here um if i do end up using it it would only be in one port anyway and that would be during the seed exam i'll uh we'll, we'll get into that more though later How are you feeling? Okay, I guess, man. Uh, I'll go with okay, I guess. Okay. Take it easy next time, you hear? Looks like your eyes are focusing. You should be fine. Say your name for me. So, your main character's name is Squall. Uh, you can keep it if you want. Uh, or you can delete it and put whatever you want. I'm going to delete mine and actually put my name in there, and uh, we're going to make a wicked character. 
You see what I did there? Well, if I can even spell right. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Why don't you take it easy in the training next time? You might not be so lucky. Tell that's a cipher. <laughs> that cipher won't listen to anyone. Why don't you ignore him? I, I can't just run away. You want to be cool, huh? Well, don't get hurt in the process. Let's see. Your instructor is... Quistus. I'll call her now. Just wait here a minute. Quistus, come get your student. Yes, yes. His injury is not serious. It'll probably leave a scar. Right. Now please come by. Wicked? So we meet again. Uh, wait. Uh huh? No foreshadowing right there. And this is uh, Quistus. This is your instructor. First time we actually meet her and she gets a little cinematic video of her own. Um, just, just a little Q&A too with that doctor. At first, for some reason, I always thought that doctor was a female. But come to find out, I think it's a dude. I knew it'd be either you or Cypher. Come on, let's go. Today's the field exam. Wicked. Is there something on your mind? Well, I don't know why would she say that? But maybe. Not really. Why you... <laughs> What's so funny? Funny? No, no. It's not that. I'm just happy. I feel like I'm beginning to understand my student a little. That's all. I'm more complex than you think. Then tell me. Tell me more about yourself. It's none of your business? <laughs> Damn, Squall's got you ending your sentences and all that for you? That's a little foreshadowing too, and it's kind of like a misdirect. Um, you'll see later on. I'm gonna try not to do too many spoilers in this playthrough until we actually get to the areas, but I cannot guarantee I will not spoil anything and everything. It may happen. I am gonna try not to though, but like I said, hopefully we'll, um, we'll, we'll get better at it. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. There seems to have been some rumors flying around since yesterday. Yes, the field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who failed last week's written tests are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Just be sure you're in top condition. Meet in the hall at 1600 hours. I'll announce the team assignments there. Any questions? Oh, and Cypher? Do not injure your partner while training. Be careful from now on. Well, that kind of just threw me under the bus right there. Field exam participants, I will see you all later. And Wicked, I need to talk to you. Oh shit. So not only does, does she throw me under the bus and make it seem like I ratted Cypher out, but now she needs to talk to me. Well, before we go talk to her, let's go ahead and just plop right back down in the seat and turn this computer on. Uh, if you hit the tutorial button, you'll actually collect your first two GFs of the game. Which if you don't get them here, I believe you get them again. Uh, they, they're just given to you at like the fire cavern or something. But you get Quizzicato and Shiva. 
And right away, I want to... And it's pretty much just telling you that uh, you can always just re-look over the tutorial in your main menu whenever you hit your um, Y if you're playing on Xbox, Triangle, or maybe, I believe, if you're playing PlayStation. Um, so yeah, so after we get the GS, we can just back out. And we're going to go ahead and equip Shiva to Squall. The reason why you want to equip Shiva is because, well, because uh, the spirit. Shiva already comes with the spirit stat unlocked. And spirit stat is really good for your character because it keeps you from dying as, as fast. And then you want to go to your GFs and each GF can learn different abilities. So basically what you want to do is you want to get Shiva learning her ice magic refine ability. You want to learn all your refine abilities first, or try to, and Quizzicala, you want to get her chord ability learned. Uh, chord abilities and refine abilities learned early is essential for no leveling playthroughs because you need the chord ability to chord monsters and you're going to need the refine abilities to refine said items you get from chords to refine them into certain high powered magics early game. So yeah, that's basically what we're gonna do. And then after that, you can just go ahead and slowly unlock different things. Now, GFs learn different abilities as, they're le as they level up. Uh, it's a lot different than the original version. I think the original, most characters needed like level 100 and shit. Uh, on the remastered and the PS1 and all that version, I believe, or the PlayStation 4 or 5 or whatever. Re the remastered version anyways, uh, that leveling doesn't, doesn't work you don't need to get to level 100 i believe to unlock certain skills but you do still need to level them up to like level 10 12 i think 20 things like that and some for most uh, gfs they'll unlock new abilities as they go um so once we go ahead and just get all that attached up once you have the card ability start to learn for quizzicato and your ice magic refined for your gf you, you should be good so after we do that, we're going to go ahead and come down here and talk to Quistus. I'm going to try to keep the voices, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. You haven't been able to, you haven't been to the fire cavern yet, have you? You won't be able to take part in today's seat exam if you don't pass this prerequisite. I was going to go this morning, but Cypher. Hmm. Do you have a good excuse? Not really. Then let's get going. If you're not too confident yet, you can review your studies at the study panel. I'll be waiting at the front gate, so come down when you're ready. You can access the study panel from your seat. So basically the study panel is what we just went to. Um, we don't need to go back though right now. It'll, it'll update throughout the game. We may make a pass later. So after that, we're going to come talk to these three. Ah. I'm so jealous. Maybe I should take up that subject too. Yeah, but maybe not. Should anything happen to Instructor Treppy, the trapeze will get you back. Okay. Alone with Instructor Treppy. Shucks. Sounds like you a little disappointed, dude. So, we can go ahead and leave out the classroom and... While we're walking down the hall, we're going to actually run into another character that we'll end up seeing later on in the game. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Ah. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say nothing. That's, that's more squall. Squallish. There. Sorry. I was kind of in a hurry. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you just come from that class? Is homeroom over? Whoa, no! This place is so much bigger than my last garden. Oh, hey, hey! I just transferred here. Do you think you could give me a quick tour of this garden? Uh, sure, I guess. Sure. Woohoo! All right, let's go. We'll take the elevator to the first lobby, and I'll show you to the directory. 
So before we go into the elevator and down to the first floor where we need to go, we're going to talk to this guy. Oh, hey, would you like to have these? My brother gave me these cards, but they're really not my thing. You can have them if you'd like. What? How do you play a card game? Hmm, I think it'd be best to look at the card game explanation in this tutorial. I don't know much about it, really. Hmm, interesting. If you want to play cards with someone, talk to them by pressing X. But keep in mind, not everyone is a card player. I can already tell I'm going to get voices mixed up. Oh, and by the way, I don't play, so don't bother challenging me. Uh, which is kind of ironic, which we'll... we'll We'll get into that later on in the game as well. Uh, so you receive seven cards. Now these seven cards are very vital to your early grind for the no level. Um, we're gonna we're gonna also get into that probably after our first field exam. So we're gonna take the elevator and go down to the first floor. That's the di that's the directory. Get tongue tied this late in the game. Come on. Well, this is it. Bomb Garden is pretty big. It's a good idea to check where you want to go and select it here. I have a question. How do you use this? Move the cursor and press A to select. Next, I'll give a quick explanation of the various facilities. Yes, sir. You'll find the dorm dormitory to the north. A majority of the students live in the dorms. There aren't too many students who commute. Yeah, I'm in the dorms too. You can rest and change in there. West of the north block is this cafeteria. There's always a big rush for the hot dogs. You better get used to waiting in line. Got it. East of the north block is the parking lot. We usually take the garden car when the mission comes up. The front gate is located to the south. That's right, I have to go meet Instructor Treppy at the front gate. Hmm, what's the matter? Mm, nothing. Next we have the quad, located in the west block. There's an event being planned there. I know, I know, it's the garden festival. It's going to be great, I'm planning to be on the committee. You want to help out too? Let's just continue. South of the west block is the infirmary. This is where you get treated for your injuries, but a lot of students just come here for advice. What's the doctor's name? Dr. Katawaki. Which again, I realize is a dude instead of a woman. Now the east block. Now the east block. Mixing up damn voices. This is the training center. It's the only facility open at night. It's used for training, and they have real monsters running loose there. If you don't take it seriously, you may end up dead. Just be careful. Go. Okay. South of the East Block is the library. There's a lot of material you can look up here, but the terminals in the classroom are a lot more efficient. And you already know about the classroom on the second floor, right? Yeah, I remember that one. By the way, the headmaster's office is located on the third floor. You need permission to get in. Another question. What's the headmaster's name? Headmaster Sid. That's about it. Anything else? Got it. All right, so, hmm. Hey, um, are you taking today's seat exam? Yeah. Then maybe I'll see you again later. I've already finished my training in my previous garden. I'm taking a seed exam today too. Good luck to the both of us, huh? Thanks a lot. All right, so after that, we're basically gonna come and we're gonna go to the library next. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit so it goes a little faster, but we're gonna come to this library, we're gonna come talk to this pigtail chick. Uh, we will be talking to her a lot lately. Following acts are prohibited within the library. Talking loudly, eating and drinking, running around. She uh she becomes very important later to one of our characters. 
We'll see. We'll see. And also, avoid late returns, no fighting over seats. I have to go over the library rules with the children next period. I'm very nervous. I hope they understand. I'm sure they will. So, you just want to come over here and... Oh, I actually got it right for the first time. You want to get your first Occult Fan one. This is the first addition to the Occult Fan that you can find. Uh, it pretty much just tells you what you need and kind of gives you hints on locating and capturing a GF later on in the game. This won't be till way late. So you want to come in this corner and you want to draw from this Asuna. Ooh, 13, which is very good. This Asuna normally random. Um, RNG is weird in this game because I think if you save it, you get a low number. If you reload in, you could possibly get a higher number. Um, it's something that I might have to look into later. But after that, we're going to come down here and we're going to go into the, the cafeteria next. Uh, this is where we're going to meet up with Cypher and his goons, the, the committee. I don't know, I'm guessing they're like a fucking rule committee or something. Can I have a drink or something? I'd like some water, you know. Ignore. Yo, it's wicked. Oh yeah, Fujin's gonna treat you, know? Want something? Rage. Huh? 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 Ah! Wicked. Psst, psst. Fujin's kind of horse at times, so you better watch it, you know? What? Oh, it, it's nothing. <gasps> do, do you have any uh, hot dogs left? You're a bit late, I'm afraid. We're all sold out. <sighs> Damn, not again. It's hopeless. If you don't get here early, all right. I'll try again next time. Poor Zell. I'll try to order more, but there's no guarantee. So that's a that's another character we'll meet later on. He's he's pretty vital. You know, speeding. Let's go arrest that student for violation of academy regulations. So I'm guessing they're the regulations committee. Affirmative. Roger, you know. All right, so we're gonna come talk to this cafeteria lady right here. I've worked here for many a year now. I must say, being young is so great. It's like this burst of energy flowing within you constantly and Oh man, this may take a while. Think of an excuse and leave. Sneak away. I'll lend. You want to lend an ear, and you want to keep lending an ear because it'll unlock a side quest later. So we'll lend an ear. Mm, about it? There we go. But seriously, with all these youngsters running around, I'm beginning to feel young myself. You're not. You're not a young woman. I start thinking to myself, Hey, I'm still all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> well, anyway, I have a son about your age, but he is just so incompetent and... You're still talking? This could mean trouble. Think of an excuse to leave, sneak away, we'll still land in the air. I'm about to decide to click on it. There we go. So my son, he's not as bright as all of you here. So, I was worried about his future. Then about a year ago, I'm going on a journey to see what I can do, he said. Can you believe him? I was really surprised at first, but my son had this serious look I'd never seen before. So I built up enough courage and told him to, to go for it. Well, when I look back at it now, all he did was make my husband and me worry. But now, my has he matured. 
He's grown up, I tell you. It sure gets lonely without him. Oh my, I'm sorry, I got carried away. Whenever I see you youngsters, I just get nostalgic. I wonder where he is now. So yeah, so that just kind of, kind of like I said, a, uh, uh, it opens up a little side quest later on. Whenever you go to a certain area, you can, you can actually meet her son, talk to him, tell him that his mom misses him, things like that. So after we've, we've done pretty much everything we can do so far in the garden, uh, so now it's time to go to the front gate and go meet Quistus. And we're going to actually probably end it right there. And on the next video, we'll start grinding and do the fire cavern. And get after that, get ready possibly to do the field exam. Um, first, we're going to come down the long way, though, because you're going to want to stop right here at this cure draw and then draw this cure. Um, you're going to want to add this cure to your stat for uh, Squall, your main character, uh, character you're playing. Because Cure, right, even though you have that as soon and it looks better, Cure is going to be your best junction because you're about to get 100 Cure. And once you get 100 Cure, that's going to be a lot better than that as soon as you have. I have a few things to explain before we head off, which we're not going to explain that because we've already went over that with the junctions of the GFs. We'll go over it again as we go along, so y'all won't really have to worry. Um, what you're going to want to do is... And basically all this is doing is just telling you about uh, adding a GF to you, which is what we did with Shiva to to Squall and what we're about to do with Quizzicato to uh, Quistus. And you can always go back to your tutorial inside your main menu and look at it again. So that's pretty much what that is. Uh, so once she joins the party, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to junction Quizzicato to her. And yeah. Uh, you should have everything caught up by now as far as uh, make sure and by all means make sure you have like I said card the card uh, ability getting learned on Quizzicato and the ice magic refine getting learned on uh, Shiva so whenever we fight Ifrit the boss that's going to be coming up next video we'll get some AP points but yeah so that's going to be pretty much the video for today um, as soon as we add Quizzicato there we go and it opens up her magic she's gonna have the best magic we're gonna make sure to add the GF draw item like I did um yeah so that's gonna be pretty much it we're gonna save it right here and I will see everybody on the next video